Hi guys, it's Coach Gigi and I want to have a little faith chat with you guys. Let's talk about prayer. Now I know this can be something that it's very hard to fit into your daily schedule. I know for me it used to be very hard and my prayer consisted of driving in the car and just saying a quick prayer while sitting in traffic while driving to a gig that I had or whatever it may have been or just a quick little prayer when I needed something. But I realized many, many, many years ago that something was really missing from my life and there was something that I really wanted and it was a husband and I was focusing on that so much, like way too much. And that's when I realized that what was really missing from my life was not the husband, but was a relationship with God. I, yes, I love the Lord, and yes, I was a Christian. I was born again and everything. This was probably, I'm going to say, about 10 years ago. But I was focusing so much on the fact that I was still single and that I wasn't married. And why was God not bringing me a husband? That's all I could think about, unfortunately. <laughs> But what it made me realize was, oh my goodness, I need to be focusing on God and not so much on husband, 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 because that's not going to get me anywhere. <laughs> so this was when I actually focused on finding time to fit the Lord in every single day consistent prayer time, not just sitting in car in the car in traffic, driving from here to there, running around, running errands, whatever it may have been. Yes, it's wonderful to talk to God at that time as well because God wants to hear from us all day long. He wants to always know that we're a priority in his life. But he also wants consistent prayer time with us. He wants to know that he is part of our daily schedule, not just, oh my gosh, whenever I have time to fit him in. And that's what it used to be with me. So when I finally made this decision to sit down with a journal and my Bible every single day, that was when my life started to change. It was not an instantaneous thing, but I could see huge changes occurring over time. And God brought me my husband, not immediately, but probably about, I'm going to say, a year into this newfound make time for God consistently every day thing that I was doing. And I'm actually talking about this in huge detail in a book that I have written. And I am so excited to share this with you guys. It's called But First Pray. And it's all about just making that change in your every day and how that's going to change your entire life because it will. I am 100% proof of that. And I'm going to share it in much more detail of how did I get to that conclusion? How did I start the process? How did I fit God into my day every single day? I made a point of doing it every single morning. And personally, I feel that that is the best time to do it. Because when you wake up in the morning and you like give your, your day to the Lord, I mean, what better hands could you be in when you give him the first part of your day and you say, okay, God, I am putting you as a priority in this day and I want you in charge of my entire day. When you do that, that is showing God that you have amazing faith in him and that he will take care of you during that day. He will prioritize your day. He will make the day work the way he wants it to. And he will line up your desires with his desires. Now, I'm not saying that's the only way to do it. I know some of you guys have crazy work schedules. You have a lot of kids. You have jobs. You have school. You have families to take care of, whatever it may be. So I'm not saying you have to do it that way. That was just what worked best for me. And that's kind of, in my opinion, of what works really well. But I will also be explaining in my book how you can fit it in in the afternoon, at night, whatever really works with your schedule because I want to set you guys up for success. I don't want you to go into this and be like, well, I'm not going to do it in the morning, so forget it. So I don't want it to be like that because you know what? We, we're all going to make this work 
And you can make this work. You can fit it into your day, even if it's just five minutes. But I would highly recommend, if you don't have time to actually sit down and have prayer time with God in the morning, I would definitely recommend the minute you wake up, just give God your day. Say a quick little prayer as you're getting out of bed. It could take a minute. It could take the time from getting up to walking into the bathroom and even while you're washing your face. Say your just morning prayers to God. Thank Him that you're alive. Thank Him that you have breath and that you're able to get out of bed and walk to the bathroom, that you have a job to go to, that you have a family that He's blessed you with, a roof over your head, all that good stuff. So I would always recommend at least doing that much every single morning. Just give your day to God. The more you do that and the more consistent you are with that, you're going to start seeing changes in your life. I just know it. So, but first, pray. So I'm very excited about my new book, guys. I will put the link right below this video for the book on how you can get that. And guess what? You know what the best part is? It's free! What's better than that? Free. I love free stuff. So I'm going to be sharing that with you guys because I just want you to hear a little bit about my story and how the Lord changed my life, completely changed my life. And yes, brought me a husband. So I was like in my mid forties when I, when I got my first and only husband, isn't that crazy? So single people, there is hope for you guys. There is hope. You just got to put your faith in God, but you've got to concentrate on Staying focused on him and not being single. That's just a little side note, but I digress. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I can't wait to hear what you think about the book. I will put the link below, and you guys stay faithful, fit, and fabulous.